In this machinery video, I'll be showing you how to find the mechanical advantage, transmission angle, and toggle positions for a four bar linkage. There's a lot of hard topics in mechanisms courses, but this doesn't have to be one of them. So let's just knock it out and you can move on with your day and think to yourself, yeah, I learned something today. Sweet. For a four bar linkage, and in this case, my example is a crank rocker, the transmission angle gamma is the interior angle between the coupler and the rocker. Now this angle will change. As the crank pushes outward towards the more extended position, transmission angle is gonna get smaller. Then as the crank starts pulling the rocker back, it will increase to a maximum and then begin to get smaller again. The reason transmission angle is important is because of this force F. The coupler is a two force member, meaning it can only push or pull in the direction connecting its endpoints. In order to achieve the maximum moment at point D, the transmission angle should be 90 degrees with force pointing perpendicular to the direction of the rocker. With the force pointed the direction is showing now, a lot of that force is wasted driving the rocker into ground at D. Whereas if it were pointing perpendicular to the rocker, it would be all driving it sideways trying to make it rotate. So when we get later to mechanical advantage, you'll see that this quantity F sine gamma is gonna be an important term because that's how much of that force is directed in that perpendicular direction. If we know the lengths of all four pieces and we have a given crank angle theta, then you can solve for transmission angle in just two steps by dividing your shape into these two triangles and solving for that diagonal piece that I've labeled LBD. And both steps are just gonna be a law of cosines. So using the two adjacent sides, 50 and 75, and that given angle of the crank at 100 degrees, we get a value for LBD of 97.095. One more law of cosines for this red triangle and I get an answer of 38.9 degrees. And if I zoom in on this Fusion 360 drawing, you can see that it was assembled at 39 degrees rounded to the nearest degree. Two steps of law of cosines is pretty easy for this class, but sometimes transmission angle is even easier to calculate. A toggle position is one of the extreme positions either furthest to the left or furthest to the right that the rocker can be. If I start the crank from zero and start rotating clockwise, you can see that the rocker reaches its maximum position right there when the the crank and the coupler are directly aligned with each other. Then as the crank continues, the rocker swings around to the left and it's gonna keep going left until the crank and the coupler are perfectly aligned again. And this is the second toggle position. As the crank continues to rotate, now the direction switches and it starts moving back to the right again until the next toggle. So this is an example of a quick return four bar linkage because the push and the pull are at different angles. So it pushes very quickly, shorter than 180 degrees. So the pull stroke is much slower and takes longer than 180 degrees. And so the great thing about these toggle positions, if you need to find transmission angle, is that you only need to draw one triangle this time, not two. Transmission angle is opposite the ground length and then adjacent to one length of 140 for the rocker and the other adjacent length is the 50 plus 150, so a total of 200 for the crank plus coupler combined. Repeating the same process with the other toggle position, the ground length of 75 is still the same, rocker length 140 is still the same, but the other adjacent length is gonna be the coupler length minus the crank. So it's hidden on this drawing, but the crank is actually underneath the coupler in this shown pink position. And so before switching to mechanical advantage, I wanna spend a moment to talk about what is a good transmission angle. We said at the beginning, you want a transmission angle as close to 90 degrees as possible so that the force exerted by the coupler is pointing perpendicular to the rocker direction to cause as much rotation as possible. In general, you wanna design your system so that your transmission angles are gonna be greater than 45 degrees, greater than 60 degrees if you can. And so in this extended position with this 14 degree angle, if there's friction in the system or some other weight or force that has to be overcome, there's a good possibility that this system may actually bind and that the motor controlling the crank may have trouble actually shifting from the push to the pull position because of this very small transmission angle. To understand mechanical advantage, go back to when you first learned about levers in a high school science class or maybe statics or physics in college. When you have a very long leverage arm, 
a small force can create a very large moment. And then that same moment, when exerted on a very small leverage arm, will exert a very large force. And that's what we're talking about when we say mechanical advantage. It's a ratio of output to input. So if Round Kid jumps on the very long leverage arm of this teeter-totter, then Stick Kid is going flying. There's no need to post a comment about promoting bullying. He didn't let me finish the drawing. See, Stick Kid did a sweet belly flop into the lake and all of his friends cheered. All right, back to work. Mechanical advantage for a four bar linkage is gonna be exactly opposite that lever problem. In the Round Kid and Stick Kid example, we started with a force and then found a common moment and then got an output force. And so in that case, it was better to start with a really long lever and end with a very short lever. For four bar linkage, it's gonna be opposite because what's supplied to the four bar linkage is gonna be the torque from the motor. And since torque is equal to force times distance, if torque is our input, we want the smallest distance on the crank will result in the largest possible force. Now, of course, this expression doesn't account for the angle of the coupler piece. And that force that's directed in the direction of the coupler is gonna be the perpendicular force divided by sine of theta. Now, on the output side of this system, that same force in this picture has a much longer lever arm. So now looking at the rocker, if force two is essentially the input to this last component, if we wanna get the maximum torque at output point D, then we would want the longest lever arm possible for D2. And so this is why the mechanical advantage equation for a four bar linkage is based on the length of the rocker times transmission angle, because you want that to be as large as possible in order to get the maximum torque at output point D. So a larger length of your rocker and a transmission angle closer to 90 degrees will both make the mechanical advantage larger. From the crank side, you want the shortest length possible so that your torque will create the largest force. So that's why this term is in the denominator. You want a smaller length of the crank to increase mechanical advantage. And we haven't talked about that angle beta yet. This is the interior angle between the crank and the coupler. And so opposite the explanation for the transmission angle, sine of beta will be smaller when you're closer to zero or 180 degrees, and a smaller value in the denominator will increase the mechanical advantage. To look at an extreme example of this, consider the toggle position where angle beta is 180 degrees. At this moment in time, the velocity of that joint is always gonna be perpendicular to the direction of the crank. And in this particular position, it's also perpendicular to point C. But at this exact moment, this is the moment where the rocker is switching from being pushed to being pulled. So you can actually swing point B by five or 10 degrees, A point C will hardly move at all. So essentially you get motion on the input and no motion on the output. And this is gonna result in mechanical advantage of infinity. Sine of 180 degrees is zero. When you divide by zero, your mechanical advantage becomes infinity. And so this is another way to think of mechanical advantage, besides just being about leverage and how much torque you're able to get out of the output based on your input. In that way, it's sort of similar to gear ratios, where when you really gear down and go from a high speed gear to a low speed gear, you increase torque and that provides a mechanical advantage. And that's kind of what's happening here. We've essentially geared down so much that the output isn't even moving at all, and that's the infinite mechanical advantage. All right, enough talk, math time. Since I already found that length BD and I already found transmission angle, we're almost there. Just need to find angle beta, and I think it's easiest to actually find it as these two separate angles, beta one and beta two, and just add them together. And that means two more law of cosines. So using each of the two visible triangles in this drawing, you get an angle of about 49 degrees and an angle of about 64 degrees. And plugging in the numbers, we get a final mechanical advantage of 1.93. And remember, that's not the mechanical advantage for this linkage. It's the mechanical advantage for this four bar linkage in this specific position. Just like transmission angle, mechanical advantage changes over time. It's gonna reach its maximum in the toggle positions when it's fully extended and when it's fully retracted. And both of those positions have mechanical advantage of infinity because that angle beta is zero or 180 degrees. If this video helped you learn something and you think other students would benefit, please hit the thumbs up to make it appear higher in search so they can find it easier. Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.